Hello everybody, I'm Raymond Kuntz. Hi, I'm Kieran Brophy. My name is Paddy Lachlan. My name is Tony Hayden. Hello there, my name is uh, Noel Hawk. I'm Jane Feehan, I'm living in Luxembourg. My name is Nolik Duffy. I'm Owen Lachlan, this is my wife Linda, and this is little Oshin. He was born on St. Patrick's Day this year, it's his first trip to Burr. Oh, it's just super to be back. There's a great buzz around the town. It brings back a lot of childhood memories, seeing all the old steam engines and vintage cars and stuff, and it uh, reminds me of my childhood. It's great. I left Burr in the year 1971, so I've been gone for 43 years. I've been in Australia since 1972. I left Burr in 1962. I live in Oak Park, Chicago, with my husband and two children, Patrick and Daniel. These are my three kids, all the way, we've come all the way from England. Left Burr in 67 to join the bank and then went to England in 1977. I've been living in uh, North Carolina now for uh, a number of years, but I've been gone from Burr for over 40 years. I can't believe it. I left Burr in 1964 and I come back very regularly and especially when it's Vintage Week. I'm Lucy, this is Amy and Ryan. Well, I'm enjoying that I get to see all of my all of my family and I also get to see places where my dad grew up and old buildings. Well, yesterday at the parade, my favourite bit was um, when my cousin Ben came past and he high-fived all of us. My favourite part of being in Burr is Tony's chips. We would go to each shop and look in the windows and look at all of the displays that each of the um, townspeople had put in the windows. Luckily I come just about every year and to be here for the festival is especially uh, exciting. My fondest memory of the festival was the parade. I actually took part in the parade one year and I was at the very front of the group and at the time The Incredible Hulk was big on television and somebody had dressed up as The Incredible Hulk. Now I was very frightened of The Incredible Hulk so when I saw him I ran into the crowd. Well, I think it means everything because I get to meet old schoolmates, old friends. A lot of people come back for the festival and come back for that week. I think there's an awful lot going on in the week, so there's plenty. I brought the grandchildren here last year. They thought it was fantastic. The festival is a marvellous occasion to showcase local arts and crafts and talents. There's so much activities going on. The lovely thing about it is my wife paints and she loves coming over to Burr and she loves putting her paintings in and, and there's a lovely feel to Burr during that week. Uh, the reason I'm back really this time is my grandson is with me who was born and raised an American. Uh, he's 16 years old. He has never seen Vintage Week. He's been to Burr many times. We, we try and keep him in touch with his Irish roots. So he knows Burr fairly well but he's never seen the different aspects that are available to somebody visiting Burr during Vintage Week, the art galleries, the whole social scene around the town, the, the even people still, I notice, dressing up in the costumes and becoming part of the festival. The, the main attraction, I suppose, was the possibility of meeting up with people that I hadn't seen since school times. Over the years, I've appreciated it in different ways. When I was younger, it was much more about about the nightlife and the music and catching up with people that you haven't seen since Christmas. But now I come back with my young son and, and I see Vintage Week through his eyes. There are so many wonderful things to do for children and for families. I usually get involved in the singing pubs competition. Last year I was roped into Kelly's, for instance, and uh, they won the singing pubs. And they tell me it was down to me at the end which, when I wrapped it all up. Well, I remember the first one and the excitement that went around with that one. It was just the first sense of community I ever had where the people of the town actually got together to do something as a unit, as a group, and enjoyed themselves immensely doing it. are calling from glen to glen and down the mountain sign this summer's gone the flowers they are dying tis you tis you must go and i must bite but come ye by 
One summer's in the meadow. Oh, when the valley's hush and white the snow. Oh, I'll be in sunshine or shadow. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so.